So, yung bracket, yung guma... Ah, sige, sige. Teka. Sige, ano yung value ng function when x is equal to negative 1? So, x equals negative 1. Oh, okay. Tapos, kumamit ka ibang, ng ibang color, like red pa sa graph. So ngayon, both yung bracket notation for the definition and the graph. Okay, so that's going to be zero when Eh, tingnan mo, yung, kapag yung laman ng function ay x minus 1 is less than, so when x minus 1 is less than 0, and then x minus 1 is greater than 0. Mm -hmm. 
Ganito, tingnan mo yung laman ng U of X. So, that's zero when what's inside U of X is less than zero. So, dito, when X minus 1, so, X minus 1, and then X minus 1 is, hindi, para, mas mali, para makita mo, kasi magbibigay ako ng function na lang. When X minus 1 is less than zero, and x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Ngayon, new line, that's also equal to, kasi pwede na rin yan, x is less than 1, or x is greater than or equal to 1. Ngayon, new graph. Okay, label yung, ano, yung x at y-axis. Tapos kung ano yung point na kung saan point yung ko. Or this yung axis man lang. Na ano yung value ng x dyan, ano yung value ng y. Okay na yan. Tapos sige mo ng x and y yung sa axis. Di ba? Usually pag nag-glowing tayo, nalagyan natin ng x arrowhead for the x and y axis. Tapos may x at may y. Ngayon ito. Tingnan mo yung page, yung ano, yung, yung exercise 51. Sa book. 5-1. Tingnan mo ba paano mag-graph sila ito? May X, may X at saka Y labels. May arrowheads. So, ganun din. Yung, co yung mga coordinate axis mo. Hello? Ting tingnan mo yung ano. Pwede bang pakita mo yung page, yung exercise 51? Tingnan natin yung graph ni Lighthold. Tingnan mo yung ginagawa ni Lighthold dyan. May X label, may Y label. Tapos may arrowheads. Para indicate ano yung positive direction at ano yung negative. Well, yung ano lang. Yung positive direction sa may arrow. Ayan. Kasi may mga ano eh. Ano kung bakit may ganyan? Kasi may ibang variable systems na ginagamit minsan. UV, 
x, y. Pag nag-complex variables ka, yung functions mo would be, ang itsura ng function sa complex variable would be, meron kang isang coordinate system for x, y, and then may second coordinate system ka for u, v. Kaya importante yung labels niya. Na it's a, na, anong variables yan? Okay, u of x minus 1. Anong graph niya? Uh, ano eh? Yung definition muna eh. Mababa po siya ng 1. Yung, ah, gamitin mo yung, ano, yung curly bracket notation? Oo. Oh, Hindi alam ko lang. Uh, okay. Kopyan ko lang po. Yan. Ay, no, wala. But I'm going to... Ayan Okay. <clears throat> so, di naman.
pagtabi mo, isulat mo yung definition mo ng u of x at saka u of x minus 1. Ah! Uh... Tapos nun, tingnan mo ngayon yung mga overlaps. Pwede ka mag-glowing ng number line. Tapos, i-mark mo kung ano yung mga values ng u. u of x at saka u of x minus 1. 0 at saka 1 lang naman yan eh. So, on a number line, hindi, parang gaya ito. Pakita ko yung ano. Hmm. Kaya, share ko yung screen ko. Parang gaya ito. So, yung u of x, Tsaka u of x minus 1. Tapos may number line ka dito. Mark mo yung 0. Mark mo yung 1. When x is less than 0, ano to? So this is 0. Pagdating sa 0, u of x is going to become 1, di ba? Yung u of x minus 1, kaya na nagsisero yan. So, 1 siya when x is equal to 1. 0 na siya after, before. Ah, uh, so like, table of signs, pero ano po yung, kukunin niya po yung, what, what forms out siya. Oo. Oh. Sige, stop na ako. Kasing mamuli. Teka, yung u of x, zero siya until
nilagay mo lang na zero kasi kaya tayo naglalagay niya kasi mag-a-add tayo or mag-subtract. Yan. Tapos yung critical points na yung mga kailangan mo eh. So, for example, yung sa zero, sa one, yung before zero, between zero and one, greater than one. Kaya pag tingin mo yung table na ginawa ko, konti lang yung nilagay ko values. Yeah, kailangan na pa-align yun ha kasi kung hindi malilito ba niya so yung mga sa values ng x yung alignments so 0 minus 0 is 0 Okay, so from there, ano ngayon yung magiging issue? Ano yung in, 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 ano tawag dito? In bracket notation, ang u of x minus u of x minus 1 becomes, that's equal to, ano in cases? 0, when x is less than 0. Kaya, pakita ko sa yung sinulat ko para lang ano para, para mag-compare mo. Kaya ako ginagawa na ganito. So pag tingnan mo yung sinulat ko yung mga critical points lang yung before 0, 0 between 0 and 1 greater than 1. So, pag ganyan, maganda rin na pag sinusulat mo yung mga results, isulat mo siya na, okay, between 0 to 1, ito. Now, between 0 and all numbers less than 0, ito, di ba? All numbers between 0 to 1, so including 0, ito. Tapos hindi included yung 1. So, ito naman yun. And then, x is greater than or equal to 1. This way, madaling maghanap na, okay, less than 0 ba, greater than 1 ba, or, and so on. And if you graph this, I think dito, madaling, makikita mo na yung graph eh. Diba? Tabo. Okay, so pahig graph.
Ayan mo. Diga, pwede pa share ng screen? Ay. Okay, so, yan, no? Tapos ang values ng y would be 1 yan. Okay, ito naman. So, it, ah, teka. Hindi pa tayo tapos, no? May question pa dyan, di ba? Teka, yeah. Check ko lang yan, no? Yung kasunod yan. This is A, B, C. Ah, okay. Sige. So, before we do number, the next one, meron akong pagagawa na additional question. So, let me share my screen again. Mm. To give more some more spice to life. So, ito. Exercise. So, ano yung function na ito? Uh, express in in curly in in case in case basis the following function f of x we're going to y y equals yung step fun yung heavy side step function evaluated at 2x cube minus 6. And then graph. Screenshot ko lang para ano. 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 6.
Okay, Kellen positive 1 yen. Ano yung condition? Pag nadabog When the inside of you is yun muna. Start with that. Okay. U of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 6. Yan pala. Good. So that's kailan siya 1, kailan 0. So may inequality ka na dapat na i-satisfy, di ba? So that's 1 when So the polynomial Okay, so kailangan malaman mo kailan positive yung polynomial at kailan negative or zero yung polynomial. Ano ba method for doing that? Ima roots po muna. Ay, zeros. So, kailangan natin hanapin yung zeros. And then, once we know the zeros, ano yung next step? Ano ko yung equal? Equal. So, kaya natin malalaman kung nagpa-positive yan, nag-negative. What's the method? Mm, table of signs at ako. Mm -hmm. Alam mo na zero si ba? So, what information does that give? So, Factors. Okay, so ito yung mga factors ng polynomial. So, 
and then <clears throat> okay so ngayon using yung factors kaya mo na dapat gumawa ng table of signs And then, so yung, yung table mo ngayon can now be written as, so y is, in case, in, pag ginawa mong in, ca in case form, Tama ba yung ano? Yung sinulat mo na zero when the polynomial is positive? And all the conditions for the... And then you graph. Okay. 
Kailangan din natin yung negative 2. Negative 2. Okay. Pag uh, x is less than negative 2, 0. Okay, mm -hmm. so, basta lang i-tabo muna po yung lahat, lahat sila fail, tapos nalagay ko na lang kung may, may hold sa kong wala. Okay. 2, 1, 3, 4. Bakit ko ganun na yung pag pala? Okay, plan with local first. Okay, pwede yan. So...
yung scale lang na 1 0 na 1 at negative 1 Yeah, before you continue with this, naalala mo yung function na y equals abs absolute value of x over x? 
Double. So, compare me as a y equals absolute value of x over x. Tapos uh, on, for x equals, for x not equal to zero, tapos zero when x equals zero. Yeah. Ito yun, si, so isulat ko. Para mali makita. So yung function defined this way, y equals absolute value of x over x, x not equal to zero, and then zero when x equals zero. What do you notice? Hmm. Uh... I think it's the same as yung isa po. So Negative. it's the same as? Yung signal function so, so this is actually also the signal function. Oh, uh, okay. Obo. Okay, sige. So, today mo yung ano, yung, yung solution sa problem. Multiplying, okay. Hmm. So absolute value facts for the eh.
Okay, so in in yung in piecewise form ano yan? Ano yung table of signs? Huh? Ano pala? Hmm, inyo kailangan. Ano lang ba yung mga possibilities for sign of x? Great, greater than zero, equal to zero, ito and less pala. than zero. How, how, how will you differentiate po yung ito po yung ito pong function na to from yung sign na as in yung uh, tagdan yung yung trigonometric function po. Eh, di ba yung sign is SIN? Ito po. Tapos Pero pag sinasabi niya po siya, when, when you say it, yung ano, sinasabi Itong, niya po siya. Signum. Ah, signum. Ito po. Signum X. Yun naman talaga yung ano niya eh. Yung name eh. <coughs> Signum X. Okay, split up or something. So, when x is greater than 0, ano yan? Ka less than 0 muna. Sige. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Then... So, x minus... Taka. Bakit? Ba't x? Di ba dapat 1, 0 na? <clears throat> okay. Okay, so it's like the set. So na dapat na po siya ay break up ang ano. So na siya. So when x is equal to zero, so two, so one. Parang, kaya, yung scale mo. Lalagay ko mo. Yeah, para mag-match yung scale. Okay. Problem. Okay, so ito. So yung next na question ganito, para ma-recycle mo yung ano, yung kinumpit ko kanina. So share ko lang ulit. So before I do that, ito naman. So dito, So, kinopya ko lang. Ngayon, instead of using yung heavy side function, gagawin ko itong sign, sigmum. Tapos, send ko lang, i-screenshot ko lang. And send. Okay. 
Okay na? So, pinitan ko lang yung yung U ng signum. Okay, so stop sharing na ako. Sinend ko rin yung question sa ano, sa sa messenger. So stop sharing na ako. Tama. Hmm. So, kung kanina, U of that, ngayon, signum of that. So, baka po U yung hemicide function. Ewan ko lang. Notation, uh, uh, kasi, paiba-iba pa yan eh. Sa ibang box H yun. Hmm. Pag may mga pakita ng heavyside function, kailangan mo i-check. Anong definition na ginamit niya? Kasi yung placement ng zero, iba-iba eh. Okay, so go. <clears throat> so, if this one is this one, ah, wait. So, this one is Ah. Kaya, balikan mo yung kani yung exercise na ginawa mo kanina. Kasi hindi ko ni-expect na uulitin mo yun. Ginawa natin kanina yung U of that polynomial. This time, signum of that polynomial. So, copy the copy the table of signs. Ah, uh, masagot lang ako ako ulit. Okay, so and then isunod mo na siya in um, in piecewise form. So y equals So, anong intervals? From your table of signs. Oh, wait. Signum man. Ah, okay. So, why it was 21 then?
Okay, and then the graph. Okay. Sige. Next item na sa TC7.
is so number 51. So we have the following graph. You're asked to define this piecewise. Okay. So the graph of the function f in the figure <coughs> resembles the letter w. Define f of x piecewise. Pakyat, di ba nasa baba? Sa corner mo iyan, no? Para mag-scale. Pupapak yung corner. Arrow key. Para, para madaling ibaba. Okay. And then So the slope norm. So when x is less than one, negative one. Minus 
So this is X. X is between negative 1 and 2. Ba na ako compute. Okay, mas may check mo na lang. <clears throat> so, x is between negative 2 and negative 1. Pag nag-substitute ako ng negative 2, negative 4, teka, x is between negative 2 and negative 1. So, pag nag-substitute ako ng negative 2, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 hindi satisfied uh, when x is between 0 and negative 1 pag, sinap pag sinapsituing x equals 0 I'm going to get negative 1 na hindi rin I think ang gawin mo dyan mag point slope form mag point slope form equations ka for each interval tsagain mo siya Hindi, kasi tingnan mo, pag nag-substitute ako ng negative x equals negative 2, anong lumalabas? Negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 2 is negative 6, which doesn't give me negative 2, 2. Oh. is equal to negative. Tama ba? Negative, ah, sorry. Negative 2 times negative 2. Ah, 4 minus 2. Okay, tama. And then, negative 2 times negative 1, 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay, tama, na, tama nga. Between negative 1 and 0, Negative, negative, one. So, one plus one. Parang hindi nagmamatch. So, when x is negative one, ang nakukuha ko, y is equal to two. Hmm. So, negative 1, 0, and 0, 1. And 
there. No? Yeah. So, yung cases na nakukuha po ay negative 2x minus 2 for x between negative 1 and negative 2. And 0. then zero one and one zero so we know what the equation is between zero and one negative x plus 1, and then when x is 2, to x is between uh, 1 and 2. Okay. So, between negative 1 and 0, check natin. So, between negative 1 and 0, negative times negative, so when x equals negative 1, Magiging 1 plus 1, which gives me 2. Hindi na match. Yung 2x minus 2, okay na siya. Nagmamatch siya dun sa coordinates between x, be between x is 1 and 2. Yung negative 2x minus 2, that also works. Ang problema, yung... So, between negative 1, okay, x plus 1. Ay, ne, ito. Tama yung nasa graph mo. y equals x plus 1 and y equals negative x, x plus 1. Ang mali, yung, ang binabasa ko kasi, tingnan mo yung, yung, ano, yung piecewise form mo, yung, yung nasulat. Start from the top. 2x minus 2 for x between 1 and 2, diba? Oh. Ngayon, tingnan mo yung between x, between 0 and 1. Tiga, hindi siya pwedeng between 1 and 0. Tingnan mo yung una, between 0 and 1, mali yung slope. Between 0 and 1. Negative yung slope niya, di ba? Pero no ko mong slope sa... between 0 and 1. Okay, ganito. Nakahilo kasing basahin yung hindi in order yung inequality mo. So, pakita ko sa'yo yung, yung preferred na form. Start from yung the leftmost. Okay. 
So, ganyan ito yung ano. Pakita ko yung yung nasa screen ko. Kasi ano to eh. Mas useful na. So, pag tingnan mo to, ang ginagawa ko, ano ba yung equation? Di ba may equation tayo dito? This one is negative 2x minus 2. So, I'm going to start here. Tiga. Gamit ako ng highlighter. Ayun, ito na lang. So, start from here to here. Kaya ito yung nauna. Tapos, ano yung equation? Negative 2x minus 2. Ngayon, ano yung next? Between negative 1 and 0. So, ito naman. So, gawin mo yung cases. Huwag mong tipirin yung papel. So, as you go from left to right, ito naman. And then, x plus 1, di ba? And then, between 0 and 1, ito. Tapos ito. And then, after that, yung ito, between 1 and 2, which is this. And ito naman yung 2x minus 2. So, pag nagsusulat ka ng piecewise, start from the leftmost going to the right. Kasi mas madaling basahin yan dahil ang ginagawa ko, as I go down this, this as I go down here, I know na I'm going to the right. Tapos wag mong tipirin yung something or something. Talagang i-lista mong na ano. And then later, pag, na, pag nagawa mo na yan, saka mo gawin yung, okay, pwede mo i-combine itong in, intervals na to. Pero in general, mas gusto ko yung ganitong form na starting from the left, going to the right. Kasi it's just easier to set up. Okay. So, yeah. So, from negative 2 to negative 1. So, yun ang unahin mo. X between negative 2 and negative 1. So it's easier to read. As I go down on the graph, I'm going to the right. Okay. So yung next, di ba, may num number 53. Baka may problema yung color coding nito. Ay, hindi. Okay lang.
Nineskip na natin to. Parang masyadong ano eh. So let's go to 55. So in the exercises 55 through 58, do the following. A. Define the function piecewise without absolute value bars. B. Sketch the graph of the function for your definition in part A. Yung C, support your answer by plotting the graph of the function using graphing software. Hindi yung exact wording ng, ano, ah, ng PC7, pero yan yun eh. Kasi sketch means yung hand graph, di ba? And then... going to Desmos or something. Double. So 55. So absolute value of x squared minus 1. And then, pag nagawa mo na itong 55, 57, balikan natin isa pang function. Yung polynomial naman. Polynomial. So, 55 f of x equals absolute value of x squared minus 1. Gawa ka kaya ng table of signs ng x square minus 1. Yes, yes, tama. Okay. What? 
Okay. Actually, dapat ano yun, eh, di ba? Ginawa natin yung mga ganyang graphs from sa additional math din eh. So the same techniques should work. So graph mo muna yung x squared minus 1. And then from the graph of x squared minus 1, may kumukuha mo na yung graph ng ng absolute value of x squared minus 1. Okay, tapos yung broken lines para kita na hindi yan yung graph na pinahanap natin. Okay. Hindi na pa, huwag na natin gawin sa Desmos. Well, it's pretty obvious naman doon. Hmm. Yung 57 naman. Ah, 
Gawa ka ng table, ng table. Number line, tapos table. Kasi mas madaling isulat yan kapag ganun. Tapos ano ang critical points? Critical points here would be 0 and 5. Hindi ba na po siya, ano? Hindi ba po siya? Kasi wala, may, ano, may different ways to do this, eh. Sige, pwede, so inabsorb mo yung absolute value effects, pwede rin. Parang yun na ako po siya, parang, parang fusion, parang naging gano'n na po. Absolute value. Teka, ang absolute value of x ba equal sa absolute value of negative x? Yes, dapat po. Okay, so that, pwede mo rin isulat yun as absolute value of x squared minus 5x. Okay, so, yun po. Okay, so from there, I think kaya mo na i-graph yan eh. Ay, de. Hinihingi yung ano no, yung piecewise form. So, graph mo kaya muna, saka mo gawin yung piecewise. Mas madali yun eh. Tapos gawin mo yung ano na going yung yung piecewise form going from left to right. Kasi mas madidig ang basahin niyo. So this is number 57, no? x times 5 minus x, which is the same as, so if I make a table of signs,
Teka, ito yung ano, so, pakita ko na yung para ma-compare natin. So, okay naman yan, pero yung preference talaga ganito. Or yung yung, pre, yung preferred na form na gusto ko makita ganito. So, gumala ko table of signs para madaling matrack. Tapos, may num sa number line, x squared minus 5x when x is less than or equal to 0. Hindi ko ginawa yung union with x greater than 5 kasi it's harder to read kapag ginawa mo yung union notation versus tsagayin mo na isulat lahat dyan. Kasi dito, you know that going downwards or going to the right. <clears throat> Kita? Okay, so from there, I think ano na yan eh, clear na koning graph eh. It's a parabola. Tapos i, yung part lang na ano, so parang ganito, 0 and 5. And then yung sa gitna, so nasa 2.5 to. Yung local maximum. Okay, so yung last yung last exercise ito. Na gusto mong makita yung solution mo this coming um uh, this coming Thursday. Ah, the hell. Okay, yeah, so ko lang. So gusto kong i-graph mo yung y equal so in in piecewise form ano to uh, absolute value of 2x square plus 11x square minus 7x minus 6 